levels. Or, or I'm just bad at nest platforms. I think it's actually the latter. <laughs> Looks like players are getting ready, about to start this one. After that first match, uh, let's see, if, let's see if they can top this one as well. Really close first match. Mitch Flower Power, Mitch Flower Power taking the the win by just about 20 seconds. A lot of a little bit of back and forth. The lead changes. Ah, and here we go. All right. Yeah, uh, to answer a quick question in chat while we get this second game going on, yeah, you can speedrun pretty much every single video game ever. Uh, pretty much. I, I, I do, do quite literally mean every single game. Uh, if it has an end screen, a kill screen even, like there are Donkey Kong speedruns to level 23, there are things like that, uh, you can do it. Starting out World 2 here. Uh, pretty short stage. Yeah, this, is, this world's gonna be pretty short. Nice, nice little start to not have to deal with complicated world, overworld mechanics. Uh, Boss Bass already making an entrance. Mitch using a strategy here to despawn Boss Bass by going through the door. You get a different uh, enemy set when you go through the door. A couple stages. So, using that to his advantage, don't have to worry about boss bass. May have to deal with other, some other stuff, but not, nothing too tricky there, it seemed like. Pro Pro is, is not doing that. Yeah, I don't think that's a very uh, commonly used strategy. I've seen it a few times in the tournament. But it's worked out for a few people and made things worse for others, so. Suddenly, three boss bass. No, you can't. Yeah, right. <laughs> there, there, are actually, there are actually some things that prevent crazy things like that. Right now, uh, the, right now. <laughs> only time you can get more than one boss bass is if a normal boss bass spawns in the level. Uh, it can cause two boss basses to spawn. Here in the first fortress. Yeah. Lordy fortress. Trying to get to that door before the peace switch runs out. It's a bit tougher with the uh, shuffled enemies. Mitch picking up a star in that power up box. Be able to walk through while this uh, conveyor belt stopped by the P switch. Not quite enough to get to the boom boom. See if uh, Proa can do it. Not quite. I don't think there's enough time either way. And uh, this might be a good time to, to quickly, for people who got here. Uh, and weren't here for our initial explanation, just quick overview of what this game randomizes. Definitely. The enemies and levels, the power-ups you get from blocks for the most part, obviously, leave in blocks and enemies that are required to beat a level. The majority of levels have been randomized, again, with the exception of levels required uh, just by the game to, to... Some levels have to be where they are. Um, right. You can randomize Mario's palette, as you can see. Uh, Both are red this time, so not... Yeah. Nothing too exciting. Uh, along with that, the world order is shuffled. So starting here on world two. Yeah, uh, world and always in with world eight. Pipes are also randomized. Uh, the overworld pipe, sorry. Yep. Sorry, yeah. Not not in level pipes. In level They're pipes, not, not yet. yet. Uh, I know there's been a suggestion to random randomize or shuffle doors within stages, like we saw that previous uh, fortress. So all those doors be shuffled around. That would be quite a pain to get through. Ooh, yeah, see, uh, that's one of those things that sound cool in theory, but uh, when you right. actually play it, it's like not actually fun. <laughs> what seemed like a pretty uh, straightforward stage now becomes a a maze. Oh it's yeah, like and some, maze. Right. Some quality of life features uh, here is auto scrollers have been removed, with the exception of like two or three levels, and five lost levels have been re-added to the to the game from the code. So there are some levels that you can only access via the just like looking at the code and they right. added back in. Yeah, tough death here for Proa. Um, 
tough stage given the enemies being shuffled and dying right before the pipe leading to the exit. So you have to go back and play the stage. Opted to pick up a power up from the mushroom house though. Can, can uh, anyone explain to me what happened to that cheap cheap? What the cheap cheap, cheap just kind of launched himself into the oh, sky. Oh yeah, rocket cheap cheap. Yeah, those are common. Okay. Oh, it's okay. just a rocket cheap cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like he just despawned himself. I'm like, poor Cheap Cheap. You didn't have to go that way. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I don't know. I, th I think those were the ones that are like floating, like set above the water and then bounced really high. I think those were the same ones. Oh, okay. yeah. This it one just, just looks like really funky when they're not in the just right spot. Fly straight up into the air and just get in okay. your way. Yeah. Um. Meanwhile, we got Mitch taking out another Hammer Brother. Or first hand brother, excuse me, onto the pyramid. Yeah, and the stage that Pro is on is uh, it's one of Bowser's military stages, the first tank you encounter in World 8. But it's been shuffled among the standard stages because it doesn't end with a gold card, and it doesn't end with a, a boom boom fight. It just ends with the hand brother, so it's been, based on that uh, logic, it's been mixed into oh. the standard stages. That, that wrench, as he's going for the star, just wasn't quite able to get to the star first. A couple untimely deaths here for Proa. Not not too far behind, but definitely definitely don't want to take those deaths uh, at, if, you can, if you can avoid it. Meanwhile, Mitch going back for that first Hammer Brother, or the other Hammer Brother. Uh, C players go out of the way for Hammer Brothers or the card game just for looking for power-ups and items early on. It's not a bad idea because you can uh, they allow you, to, allow you to find hammers and clouds, but you can ultimately skip stages with them. Proa, ooh. So, wasn't quite able to make that timing with the... Uh, uh, what is that Hammer Brother called? Got each one. Each one has a specific. But that one. Uh, that one stuns the ground if you're standing still. Small Mario unable to get a rhythm down. I'm gonna get hit on him. Meanwhile, Mitch finishing up the first first airship. Mm -hmm. Koopa Kid HP has been shuffled between one and five hit points. Standard being three. Sumo Bro, thank you. I knew somebody would know it. <laughs> just, just the big hammer brother guy. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I mentioned moving on to the next world, world five. It's like we were just in this stage. <laughs> See Proa in the match card game, the in-card game, looking for for items. The both the layouts of the cards have been shuffled, so that's different each time when you play. And the power up you receive is shuffled, including uh, hammers and clouds, which are can be very you know, useful for skipping stages. Particularly here in World Five, which, which allows you to skip three stages in the over upper part of the overworld. Mm -hmm. So it's not Sumo Bro, it's Sledge Brother. Thank you for that clarification. I just call them the Big Hammer Brothers. The big guys. <laughs> That's not a music note. Wow, so many matches. What the heck? Yeah, Mitch with a couple matches there. I think that was his second uh, chance at playing the game. But he may have already had, had uh, some knowledge of what was already there. Yeah, well, Pro, Pro uh, made a small comment that I'm going to mention. He said... I spent too much time messing around with the card game. Hopefully he doesn't... Hopefully he realizes that, that all that time he spent was pretty much worth it. Like, he... I don't think that's... Right. that's... Uh, yeah, that was... He mentioned that between uh, between matches in mm -hmm. Torrell. And... It's... Yeah. There is, it comes a point where you could be spending too much time. Especially if you're making matches. I know uh, a couple players... Well, no, at least one player who's opted to not play it at all in this tournament has done pretty well.
it's kind of almost the inverse of our, of our last match. Um, in, the, in the last match, Proa kind of came ahead early. Mitch looked like he was struggling actually a little bit. Right. And this side, it's the opposite. So definitely don't count Proa out. I oh, see yeah. one or two people in chat. Definitely gotta, not. Gotta watch out. Sometimes uh, people are gonna people are gonna show up. Oh, and there's a hammer for Mitch. Uh, just in time, just to use it in the Hero World Five. Just in the previous match, it is uh, different each playthrough. So that hammer is not guaranteed, but it's it's always interesting to see uh, patterns like that. Got Proa finishing up the first world. As Mitch is moving in through the tower here in World Five, which is one of the couple stages that are not are not shuffled. Yeah. Not random. And the reason that I understand that is that is because uh stage ends with a pipe leading to the upper world, upper part of the overworld. It doesn't end with a, a card, a goal card or a hammer other fight or a boom boom fight. It ends with ends yeah. with you entering this pipe into the next area. Mitch is gonna use this hammer. Skip three stages. I'm gonna be given a hammer for his trouble. Given another hammer. That is nice Dang. to see. So, two easily accessible hammers here in World 5. He's gonna hold on to that. Use that later on. Pro will have the same opportunity as well. I'm sure he'll use the same strategy. Meanwhile, Mitch showing how, how to go to this fortress. Really quickly. We're going back for that match card. Got a little bit of knowledge from the previous attempt. It's got a couple matches now. Ooh. See how Proa does with this, this floating cheap cheap the sand, able to take it down twice. Just sitting there. It's gonna respawn though. Yep. Pro going for that power up on the left side instead. Let's see if Pro goes for this jump. Goes for it and lands it. Meanwhile, Mitch is finishing up this stage right before the airship. He's got about a, say, a three stage, maybe maybe more with the Hammer Brothers uh, lead on Proa right now. Uh, once again, auto scrollers have been disabled for the most part. That includes airships. So you see, these stages are a bit shorter. It does make for some interesting uh, behavior, though. Some platforms could despawn. Uh, those fire bars, not fire bars, but the fire may not uh, spawn. Nothing, nothing too extraordinary, though. Got three, four hit Roy, five hit Roy. No problem for Mitch here. Meanwhile, Pro is making his way through the tower as well. And the tower, kind of intimidating level, honestly. And the fact that you always have to do it every single time. And you it's do. It's not easy. Especially going through it uh, while not getting hit by thwops or any of the random enemies that appear. <laughs> and right, right here where Pro is about to enter, there could be a, uh, a boss bass just waiting for you on this right before this platform. Not this time, but you get all the way up there and then. Enemies right there waiting for you. Mitch moving on to the next world. Lucky Pipe again here for World 6. Uh, overall pipes are shuffled. And in World 6 there are three possible exit or three possible uh, yeah, exits from that first pipe. One leading to the unfinished bridge. One leading uh, behind the block. Or uh, yeah, a rock that you have to break with a that you could break with a hammer, and one leading behind uh, 
the lock behind the first fortress. And that allows you to skip two stages. That's a lost yeah. suit? There you go. Which suit do you get there? I barely missed it. Proa picking up a uh, second hammer. World and World 2. Some more floating cheap cheeps. <laughs> that was a tanuki suit. Thanks, guys. Uh, Mitch is ahead by a few stages. Yeah, some early issues, some early problems with the the Bowser's Taint military stage. Yeah, Pro has hey. died a few times. Mitch is just making work of this card. Yeah, he's he's flying through this wow. in, in all aspects. Yeah, he is he's he's got a lot of data on this. He's definitely making some work. Yeah, still not a bad strategy to go through for, for the match in card game. And you're looking for those hammers and clouds potentially skip stages. Obviously, can backfire, and it could just give you all frog suits, but... Yeah, right. Another, another clean stage by Mitch. Pro is making his way to the second airship. I'll have to... Take on, I think it was five hit Roy. I hear on Mitch's screen, we got a, one of the few stages that requires you to use a, the leaf, the raccoon tail, to find the exit. So this power up will always have, have a tanuki suit, like in the standard. Make your way through this. This next door and then up a pipe to the exit. Mm -hmm. Or to the room with uh, Boom Boom. So while power ups have been shuffled uh, within stages, there are a few instances like this where you're guaranteed an item in order to progress. Not all the big power bots are the same in Rando. Uh, in fact, very few are. That's one of those few. Right. In the latest update, uh, the big power blocks have been shuffled. Yeah, this this randomizer is still pretty young. Close there. Yeah, and the, this randomizer is still pretty young, so there are some changes. Yeah, then there was a couple updates that occurred between the the group stage of the tournament and then the bracket. One of those being the power up. Fred usually will hold out on changes until phases in the tournaments of his randomizers. He doesn't usually like to make, say, week two and week three be different versions. Yeah, just to keep things fair. Yeah. The hand stage is rewarding a, a P wing again. It's going to use P-Speed to fly over this level. Good old uh, World 7 Fortress 2. It's been a pain for quite a few players in this in this <laughs> tournament. Just given the... Uh, yep. Uh, those random Fire Piranha plants. Uh, it can give you some really nasty patterns with fireballs. It's going to fly right through it though. Not a problem. Damage boost there. And on to Boom Boom. Uh, poor Boom Boom got trapped under that block. <laughs> yeah, Boom Boom still has your standard three hits or five fireballs. That remains the same. So, uh, Mitch finishing up the third, third fortress here. In this world, while Pro is making his way through the second one, 
believe Mitch full cleared that card. No clouds, no hammers. So, uh, we'll know the next time he plays it. If he does it, decide to choose uh, to play the in-card game again, he'll know that he won't receive any power-ups. He won't receive any uh, clouds or through the in-card game power-ups. And I'll watch out here. Only three hits, though. I always thought that was Iggy, because of that N64 game, Iggy's Wrecking Balls. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know that game. That's a good game. I, I, yeah. It's not Iggy, though. <laughs> Iggy's oh. blue. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. <laughs> well, it's all that game. Yeah. <laughs> what a blast. Man, I played that game all the time. And it, was <laughs> at, it was at the YMCA by my that I used to go to, so I got to play it every day after swimming. Nice. So Mitch is ahead here going into World 4. He's got a favorable pipe. His first pipe. Uh, his first pipe. Uh, overall pipes are shuffled. So ideally for World 3 you want that first pipe you enter to lead you to the, the castle on the airship. Uh, not the case this time, but not too bad either, since we know, we have an idea of where that could be. At least a better idea. Mm. We'll have to uh, complete this fortress, which was the super tank. Ooh, it probably does not have flight here, like uh, Mitch did. Yeah, well, grabs a fire flower that could be helpful. So not quite the way you want to go. Uh, Mitch stuck behind that lock on the other on the other fortress, so he's gonna have to go around. Take your I think that's the standard exit for World Three, standard pipe. Here we have another instance of a stage that requires you to have a specific power up to progress. Yep. Unless you're Mitch and just gonna clip through the wall. I don't know how these slips work, but they are cool. There he's got it. He, uh, he, jump and crouch into the wall at a specific frame at a specific velocity and you just go right through what a what nicely done that's something we don't see very often at least in this tournament and that prevents having to pick up a power up and then flying up to a pipe and leading to exit i think he still saves some time mm -hmm. uh, going that way if not it look cool <laughs> Meanwhile, we got Proa. His way to the third airship. That was a huge jump that Mitch got off of that latitude. Yeah, those. that's a um, commonly used strategy in the standard game as well, just to get some uh, additional yeah, that, horizontal that movement slow. instead of yeah, so having to swim through it. You get to. As long as you're out of water, you're moving a bit quicker. Uh, grabbing the, the wand at the top of the screen is gonna save a little bit of time there using a P wing. The color schemes actually aren't changed as far as I know, although sometimes I'm guessing some weird graphical but will happen. From yeah, there are um, some conflicts with sprites being on the same on the screen at the yeah. same time, so you may see some glitched out looking sprites that's just a, a byproduct two characters that aren't supposed to be there on the screen at the same time. The, the way that these early consoles worked is that they, they would be able to have all these different colors like stored on the cartridge, but they would only be able to say, call on X amount. Um, really interesting way to see this is in Link to the Past, actually. If you flute to Link's house from different areas that aren't like grassy, the guards next to his house will change color because they, that. yeah, because they steal the they they are using the same color palette as the ground, 
So when you flute, the game hasn't had a chance to check, hey, what color am I supposed to use here? Uh, and it just defaults to say, if you go from the desert there, the, uh, it defaults to orange, so you get okay. desert color. Yeah. Interesting. It's a good see? way to see that see that in action. Learn so something new. This game too. <laughs> so Mitch found the, the pipe leading to the airship. I'm gonna fly right over it. It's gotta deal with Wendy next, see what she has in store. Oh, it's a uh, it's heavy windy. Able to stun the ground. It's more than three hits. I think that was four. And uh, no problems for Mitch grabbing the wand at the top of the screen as well. Meanwhile, Proa making his way through the fortress. Fortress here, World 3. Was it 5? See, I can't count, guys. Thanks for... <laughs> so it looks like Proa did use a hammer. It's always hope. Proa used the hammer to get past that lock, so he's gonna make his way... He's gonna, he's gonna be able to skip a few stages that way. Uh, Mitch moving on to the next world, World 4, Giant World, able to use a hammer there to skip stages into the first fortress, taking the secret exit and picking up a P-Wing. Watch out for this fire chomp. Watch out for those fire chomps. <laughs> so Mitch moving along through the world five here. Using a music box to bypass these Tanner brothers. That's going to be one of the auto scroll. It's a lost level. It's not always a lost level. It's an auto scroller. One of a kind. Uh, there's a few additional stages that have been added into the randomizer. Normally in the game's code, but not accessible by any other means. And that's one of them. And that's usually one you want to avoid. Luckily, there's an option here. Pick your, pick your own stage. Gonna try the other one instead. Hopefully that will be a little bit better. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's the other auto scroller. What is this? I think he's gonna play this one though. I think he'll play this one. This one is a bit shorter. I don't think he has. A, I don't think he has a cloud. Really, no choice here. So, got a P wing though, he's gonna just fly right over here. Uh, yeah, so I, I think have to, he, have to I deal think, with that fire chomp. Yeah. This this, uh, this stage looks, is a lot easier, and uh, he definitely doesn't have a cloud because he would have just used it instantly. Exactly. Um, that's why that's why he went to fight the hammer bro first. Um, yeah, the uh, only two auto scrollers really remaining in the game. And the reason they're not disabled is because it just breaks the stage. You can't complete it otherwise. So those remain intact. They both happen to be right here before a required fortress here in World 4. Mitch going for items again. Again, keep in mind that when they do this, they're doing this. Ooh, and there's a hammer. They are doing this completely um, of their own volition because they cannot see their opponent. Right. Watching your opponent is not allowed. So, when they take risks like this, uh, going back to grab the new items from somewhere, they are doing that because they believe that it is a worthwhile time investment, not because they are ahead like Mitch is. Right. Although Mitch is probably feeling pretty okay about this one. I don't know, after that last that last uh, match, it's, it's tough to tell between <laughs> either player. Yeah. Uh, well, we need to play without either player knowing where each other is. Uh, 
so close last match. A lot of back and forth. Unfortunately, Proa used his hammer in the previous world. Mm -hmm. And as it wasn't able to uh, skip these first three stages. Here in World 5, World 4. Update that. Pro is gonna fly right over this stage, I think. Is this that stage? It is that stage. Yep. And Mitch is making his way through the airship here. Driving a P win for his trouble. Oh, this is Iggy. Had to look that one up. <laughs> No, but it is a ball. Right? You think so. Just makes sense. Not this time. Not in the Super Mario universe. No. And Mitch finishing up World 5. Sorry. Cat jumped on my keyboard. To Dreaded World 7, see what, uh, so overworld pipes have been shoveled around, which can make this quite a nightmare. Unless you uh, end up with a dead end right off the bat. Only one, only one way, uh, to go now. From there, though, he'll have a choice, depending on where, where we go, or where the pipes lead him. That sun is freaky looking. Just behind that that sky background. Yeah. <laughs> Not supposed to be here, son. Get out of here. So, moment of truth, World Seven. Is it gonna be kind or is this gonna be a while? That's a very kind World Seven. Yeah. Come across another one of the lost levels. Unused stages, secret yeah, yeah. levels, hidden stages, whatever you want to call them. They're all uh, kind of weird. Usually, usually don't really have themes. Uh, pretty short, pretty short stages overall. Mostly unfinished. Yeah. Why were why they're not in the the standard yeah. game? Usually, just kind of have pallets mashed together, or no pallets in the case of one of them. Got kind of black. In yeah, some the, water and... yeah, the one way to swim, swim up vertically, that was really cool. Yeah, that one's really neat. Pro one thing to uh, fight these Hammer Brothers. See what he picks up here. Mitch. Uh, skip these by using a by using a music box. Put them to sleep. Just walk right over them, right past them. Yeah. So in order to get through the rest of the world seven here, the seed, you'd have to defeat this fortress and then backtrack through the pipe that uh, on the other side of the lock, and then play the rest of the world if you chose to do so. But in a race setting like this. Gonna skip it. To make way right to the right to the end here. Oh, it slightly misses that jump. Yeah, not something uh would normally see, right? Yeah. I don't know if Pro would uh, check the other stage. He's just going right through this auto scroller. I'm not sure if he checked the other one or not. He does not. If he's okay, that fire chop just got a lot to do here, considering he does not have the flight. Able to get past it and onto the pipe. Mitch picking up a, a star on that power up block this time. Boom, boom, no problem. I 
which doesn't want it, doesn't want anything to do with Hammer Brothers, in card game, the plants. I'm just going right by him now. I think he feels pretty secure in what he's gotten so far. Like end card game, probably like, there's not too many matches left, so. Yeah, he determined that didn't didn't find any clouds or hammers, so no reason to play it again. Uh, he's got the items he wants to just play out for the rest of the game. And that's what he's gonna stick with. It seems like. Maybe he'll play an end card game in World Eight. <laughs> I don't believe there's a uh, pop up. <laughs> <laughs> no, Maybe yeah, just as a surprise. Have like a series of in-car games right before Bowser. You gotta, you have to match them all before you progress. That'll be fun. Make it happen. So what, which world do we have remaining? The world of one. I believe it's world of one. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we see world one. There it is. Hey! We just Mitch, gotta smash some rocks, apparently. We just got a dozen hammer and it's gonna bypass those three stages. Meanwhile, Proa finishing at World 5. Yeah, it's another fast seed. World 7 in 30, 36 minutes, 35 minutes. Frog suit? Uh-oh. What, what is this? What are you doing, Mitch? <laughs> Pick it up. Carry it with you. You run faster. You do. No, you lost it. <laughs> what are All you right. doing? Okay, thank you. <laughs> a more, a more, at least a, not even this is a more favorable power-up, but definitely uh, faster. Mitch, Mitch, you only won the last match by 20 seconds. <laughs> I don't know if he's in the frog suit. Don't play around. Better have gotten, uh, somebody better have at least given you money to do that. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Right. <laughs> uh, earlier in the tournament, we did have a couple players go for, uh, Frog Suit Bowser. But that was when they knew they were behind. Just for show. The stakes are a bit higher here in the quarterfinals. Yep. Mitch making his way to the airship here in World 7. It's a one hit. Easy boss fight. He'll be heading on to World 8 as Proa continues uh, looking for the looking for the right pipe. Yeah, you're looking for the right pipe. Seven. Uh, World 6. I think he found it. There's only one way. There's only one uh, pipe to the for the the right path to the exit. Yes. Way. Another frog suit from Toadstool. Thanks. Got one of the hands. Got the, yeah, one of the hand stages uh, here in the tank position. Uh, the stages shuffled among the standard stages, and then the hand stages are shuffled among the, hand, the standard stages as well. We know he's going to pick up a P Wing, another P Wing here. Probably going back for that card game while Mitch is going to check this first pipe. Ideally, this leads right to Bowser. Not this time, but this is second best, I would say. We've got uh, potentially five pipes to check here. That's yeah. oh, not that's what he went, but hammer. That's a good place for a hammer. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, you don't have many other places to use them, so. Yeah, there's one other place to use them. Hey, it. that's not where we want to be. It's not. But uh, it's going to play the Air Force stage in order to break the lock on the other set of pipes. Yeah. And then probably backtrack and go from there. Uh, instead sure of. Enough. Showing off that strat that won him the last round. Yeah, uh, able to fly through that stage really quickly, avoiding uh, having to wait on the blocks. And that was one of the difference makers in the previous map. Uh, 
so I'm gonna say it's gonna backtrack through here, head back to the beginning, and then play the navy and see where that pipe leads them. Uh, two pipes in the dark area loop to each other. Clouded over. Yeah, use the hammer to get past one of the the pipes in the dark area, and then clouded over the fortress. Let's take it back to the break. Going for the going for the star. Thought about it. Got one here anyway. Go for that quick kill on Boom Boom. There he goes. Nicely done. And meanwhile, Proa. Gotta do his Ludwig here. Super jumping Ludwig. Let's see what this pipe takes Mitch. Exactly where, uh... It's a good thing he defeated that fortress to break that lock. Clear that lock. Oh, so based wow. on that now, yeah, based on that now, he's he's gonna have to go through the end stages. Just go all the way back around, make his way across the hand bridge. It is gonna lead to Bowser. And Don made his way through the world again. Right, but he does know he did. Uh, he can skip this because of the pipe, but I don't think he remembers that. He could go back, he could go through the pipes and skip this stage. But defeating, uh, yeah, completing that uh, fortress on the Air Force tile uh, gave him the knowledge so he, does, so he knew he had to go back this way. Yeah, he must have just forgotten he could, he could skip this stage through the pipes. Just a slight over, oversight. Mitch's shot made some made sense, but um, fortunately the RNG wasn't in his favor with the random pipes. These don't uh, don't always cooperate. Yeah, I mean, there's so many pipes that go through; it's easily just to forget where each one of them leads to. Oh, so okay. not a big deal. He will skip one, but not the other one. Well, I gotta deal with boss bass, but boss bass uh, has other plans. That's a tough stage for Boss Bass. Oh, he got through. Got through it, but he's got this next stage. Hopefully oh, this one's a bit nicer. Yeah, right. He definitely wants to get through this. Otherwise, he has to go back across those two stages and potentially get hit or grabbed by it. Nice power to find there. With yeah, Look at all those enemies. There is a lot of enemies. Just everything in the way. <laughs> Able to make it through, though. No, yeah, there could have been an intentional death by Mitch in that second hand stage just to have the opportunity to uh, bypass it. And that's definitely a valid strategy. And here's the the fortress, or sorry, the, the military level. Except, yeah, the, uh, not military and happy music. Yeah, the super tank tile. It's, uh, those uh, stages, the mil Belgian military stages, are mixed in with the fortresses. Why we're seeing one of the fortress stages right here. Yeah, just adds a little bit more variety to the game. Yes. Otherwise, Bowser's world would be really planned. And we have a hammer suit, so as long as he gets through this level. Then he will have a very easy and quick. Fight, but he's gotta be careful because again, still some random enemies can occur. He's gotta still do this. Yep, able to avoid those disco waffles. Does the flip, gets through. Moves on. Gotta dodge the statues, which are kind of spooky, honestly. Yeah, those are uh, definitely something you want to avoid. That's. And here it is another 44. It's just, just two really solid runs here. Definitely. A 
And congratulations, Mitch Firepower, for she's going to be moving on to the semis. That's a big deal. Yeah, congrats to Mitch. Pro put up a really good fight, and we'll still be here to watch him. Definitely. He is, he's he's almost Mitch. done. See if Mitch wants to come in. He unfortunately doesn't know that he just needs to walk across that bridge. <laughs> 